chopped up the sausage. Got what it is, it's like chipotle and cheddar or something like that. It's really good. A little oil. And I will not be putting that in the burrito this time, but I will be still adding the veggies and just uh, making a salad out of it, I suppose. Stove is getting cleaned today, tonight. Add the kale. All washed up and chopped up. Add some carrots. Of course the ranch. Uh, we still got some coleslaw. Still liking the coleslaw. I was uh, getting that for the burritos, but we'll have to see how I like it in salads. Shredded cheese, broccoli, I got cucumbers, and celery. I put a little too much oil in there this time. It looks like I'm kind of deep frying them. I didn't want to do that. Just enough to keep it from sticking, but I over poured. Turn that down. Winko brand paper towels selling these cool uh, designs on them, so I'd share that. I like that. Festive. I like the trees in the car. Another meal to share with you guys. I uh, got some of this chili, one of my favorites. Onion from Nally. 
want to use it in my croutons, so that's what spurred this idea. I like to put them in with the chili after they're after it's been cooked. Pretty hot. Slowly getting things all cleaned up. Still need to make a spice rack, do some more dishes, get some random stuff away, boxes for storage, oven I don't really use too often, and it's had uh, some couple tiny fires, it's just kind of, I just want to store it. Croutons will be the last I have for quite a while. I'm just kind of cutting out this, cutting out this kind of food, enjoying the, uh, enjoying some healthier ideas. So I like to throw in the croutons and the cheese. That uh, pushed in a little bit, covered up. That's a Miss Day. go on uh, medium high for another 30 seconds and then add some sour cream got these handy new squeeze tubes now So that's nice. A little rainy. A little drizzly. Uh, last night, so I was a little worried to be raining today. Not, not ready for it. So I'll get some, get in the water tank filled. Tanks drained. So I can take a shower and do my dishes. Yeah, it's freaking cold out. So then. Partial sunshine out the windows, and thought I might take the e-bike for a ride, but yeah, it's too cold. Also, I keep forgetting I need a new back tire. Uh, yesterday, it was drizzling last night, and then yesterday, uh, and the day before, it was just nothing but silent hill fog around here. I think we were in a cloud, or it's just foggy. I think it was a cloud. I can see a real distinct cloud pass by us. It's so cool up here. Sometimes it's a sometimes it's sitting in a cloud. But yeah, we are surrounded by Silent Hill fog. I couldn't see out past, I don't know, 20 yards. That was it. It was just like hitting a brick wall of gray. And uh it's eerie. Nothing but gray. We're surrounded by a gray wall. That front grill is ready to go back on. I'm confident that's no longer leaking. That transmission cooler. Nope, that's good to go. Still some mess to clean up. Need to get the oil thing out to remind me to do check the oil, 
Well, not just the RV, but the lawnmowers and stuff. So yeah, things are going good. Moving along. Water empty on the holding tanks, except for the gray tank since we're leaning a little bit. I can't get that fully drained. A couple hours later and the rain has arrived. Guess it was just holding off a little bit. Clear view though. Looks good. Dee shelling some hard boiled eggs for another egg sandwich this morning. 2 30, another late breakfast. I woke up late though, I was sleeping good. Oh, I had a really vivid dream too. I just spontaneously remembered that in the middle of the day. It was right I was riding a new e-bike. And I was thinking how much uh, I was just uh, admiring how it ran and how fast it was on the road. This, I, I think my e-bike tops out a little slower. And so I was kind of experiencing that in the dream on this new e-bike. I took it out onto a road and it was kind of nighttime-ish. It, it was pretty vivid and I just, I remember it clearly too. It's not too often I remember a, a dream that clearly, but it was, I was dreaming. I can remember other bits and parts of it too, and it's very... Whenever I can remember a dream, it just feels good. I like... I love dreaming. So yeah, I slept good last night, morning-ish, whenever I was sleeping. I don't know what it is. I don't think I'm cooking these eggs long enough. Skin's peeling, or the, uh... Skin's not coming off very well and taking a lot of the egg with it. I think I'm done with these vegetarian fed hens as well, or vegetarian eggs. The hens are fed to a vegetarian soy diet or something. I didn't realize that at first, but when I bought them, I was initially just trying to get some healthy uh, cage-free eggs. And uh, I just got the eggs, egg lens best without noticing that it had a little stamp that said uh, vegetarian fed. And either way, I got the eggs, and they just tasted different. Kind of weird, like the way sushi was different and weird. And I liked it. I, I kind of like these eggs for the strange new flavor. I've been eating these for quite a while now, but uh, yeah, I think I'm getting a little tired of them. So I'm going to be switching back to brown. I was saying in one vlog about boiling the brown eggs that I didn't like them because they were doing this. So now I think it's something I'm doing. Perhaps, yeah, not cooking them long enough. So anyway... Once I realized these are vegetarian fed, I just kind of was like, oh, maybe I feel like these eggs aren't going to have all the nutrients they should because the chickens aren't really meant to eat the only vegetarian. They're foragers, I read, and it's just, it's not their typical diet to not forage and eat worms and meat and insects and things like that. Eating chickens eating only soy, that you know, sounds kind of sad. So I had my fill of these egglins best. They're kind of expensive anyway. Switch back to brown eggs. I don't eat too many eggs. I'm going to go to uh, cut down to the uh, just a half carton. The 12 eggs, the skinny cartons, whatever that is. I think it's 12 eggs. Yeah. Ah, that's better. Got a lot of 
A lot more tools put up on the shelf here as well. Got all my smaller bags up top. That's my maintenance bag. That's the most uh, complete tool bag I have for all around general work. Picks, a little magnet getter for when you drop your screws down tight spots. And all Phillips flathead. Uh, Phillips with a piece of extension cord slipped over it so I can uh, use it in electrical boxes. Um, anyway, it's my favorite tool bag at the moment with all its. Got the little mini Phillips and a mini flathead in there somewhere. Some drivers. And I got that file set. Two uh, wrench or tool rolls with uh, wrenches in them. Standard and metric. Big tool bags. One's being kind of used for safety and etc. Right now, it needs to be go through, gone through and organized. This also needs to be gone through and organized, but it's a little more uh, not so random. It's a lot of construction tools, um, wood glue, stud finder, a level. Hacksaw, uh, full uh, six inch putty knife, clamp, which I'm actually starting to put all on here. I love this rack, it just stores everything. Even my, I got my big old long um, screwdrivers out the other day for, they needed the Phillips for um, getting that screw in between the rear diesel heater and the bed frame. Oh, I found a good spot to store those. Just enough room to slip them in and out. Try to put those over there. I don't want these getting bent. Tucked out of the way. My handy tote. Got some uh, muffler and tailpipe sealer just in case I notice any leaks on the diesel heaters. Super cheap on, uh, found it on Amazon. I'll leave a link below. If you guys need some, pretty good deal. Got my rollers. Uh, this one I will use for stickers now that I have a new appropriate heavy steel roller. I did not realize they were going to send a uh, a solid steel. I did not notice that in the picture, but holy crap. When I got that, I was just like, I was very surprised. And it was actual, uh, an actual Eternabon tool. We're applying the Eternabon. Puts a little more pressure and a little harder. <clears throat> Whereas this is squishy and will form a little bit. And is not really meant for the Eternabon. It was a cheap one and um, Slightly, slightly regret getting it, except that, yeah, I think I can use it for stickers. If I want to put stickers on stuff, it'll help uh, apply some stickers. Magnet tray, my square. Hand tools, this part's still kind of not really filled up yet, or done being organized, or figuring out where I'm putting stuff. I'm bringing stuff up from below that I don't really want out in the weather. And then I'm going to store the, uh, like, bins of large cable and things I don't really use too often that it's okay to be outside. I like to bring in my oils and stuff. Have that a little more handy and where I can look down on them. Keep them in bins and keep them... They, they get kind of tossed around down in the lower cabinet. Not too decided on that yet, but... A big thing for me today in the next couple days is the... Uh, Organization, going out, getting into the bins, and bringing that stuff back in. However, during this rain, I think I'll just uh, I think today's going to be a gaming day. Gotta catch up on some N64 gameplay. Oh yes. I'm gonna make a good thing out of this rain. 
Sometimes I like the rain, other days I want to do stuff and I'm just not really feeling like going out in the rain. So, good day for games. DDWRT router. I'm going to set up a network here soon for those, uh, well, the one Xbox game I have with the Xbox 360 glass. Whatever that's called. I keep forgetting what that's called. It's a controller app for your phone and it lets you, like, unlock keypads. In the one game I have, it lets you unlock keypads from your phone. It's kind of fun. It's part of the experience, so I, wanna, I need to set up a network to do that. Also, a lot of huge up grades coming for the um, command center once I'm done planning things out there's gonna be a few more cables running along the ceiling all right finally getting the underneath of my bed cleaned out vacuumed reorganized Also coming back to pull out the uh, little bit of insulation I stuffed in the hole where the wires go through down to the fuel pump. And I'll put in some, uh, some of the silicone. It's got this, some of this ATV. Er. RTV red. It's old and it's kind of separating, but it still seals and hardens, so. I'm going to use it up in this hole before it uh, goes completely bad. I had just uh, stuffed a piece of glass, fiberglass insulation in there. Uh, no games yet, but I did get an amazing nap in. Sleeping good. Woke up. 10 p.m. Gonna stay awake all night now, probably. So here's my stuff from under the bed. A box of hoses. A box of cable. Right there. That's something else. Uh, bundles of uh, audio video wires. The cameras that didn't get used for the security system. Another bin of stuff that doesn't uh, get used often. So that's all going down below. And then I'll have a fairly cleaned out bed and I can move some other stuff into there. Nasty glitch I've never seen the N64 do before. Shut everything down, turn it back on, and it's okay. But it's okay now. I just flipped it off, flipped it back on, trying it for the second time. Oh, I'm pretty near. There we go. Yeah, that was strange probably turned this thing on and other N64s over a thousand times. I've never seen that happen. All right. That's all good now.